It's always been. So my girlfriend and I went to go see The Sound of Freedom in theaters on the 4th of July. And we've been to this theater many times. It's always been a pretty good experience. This particular time was really uncomfortable to sit through. It was There was no AC running. It was unbearably hot. So I go out and I ask if they can turn the AC on and they told me that it wasn't working. Okay. I bought these tickets online. It showed that the theater was pretty much sold out. There was only a few seats available. When we get there, it's just me, my girlfriend, and maybe eight other people in the whole theater. I didn't think anything of this until I got on TikTok a few days later and come to find out that hundreds of other people are experiencing the same thing. What's up everybody? It's Conversations of Us coming at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to address the topic of is AMC sabotaging the sound of freedom movie that just been released recently. You've seen the reports, people are complaining that the air conditions are out and they're being refunded their money and so forth like that. Now I watched the ladies video and I saw what she had to say and I was like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. But one report does not make something fact. And then I get a message a little while ago that showed me this young man and he had the same experience in a whole nother state with the same thing where they didn't have any air condition in the theater. So I sat back and I thought about it and I said, now why would they do that? Well, one reason is to make it uncomfortable enough to leave. That way you don't get to see the whole message. So reports are people are buying tickets online, all right, and... They're being refunded their money because there's no air condition in the theater where they're going to show the movie. Or, like this young man who said he went and online it said that the show was sold out, but only 50% of the people or a third of the people were there. All right. So, what's going on? Well, I took a deep dive here and I said, you know what, this is the second report of this happening. So, let's take a look at who did it. Jam Skillet, okay, and he did it 10 hours ago. All right, and I want you to take a few note of a few things here, okay? 10 hours ago, and he's got 90,000 likes. All right, so he's getting 10, he's getting 9,000 likes an hour off of this video. There's been 5,200 and one comments, bookmarked 6,108 times, and shared 10,000 times. And it's been uploaded 10 hours ago, so it's getting shared a 1,000 times per hour. Now, people, I've been doing this for a long, long time. If you Google my name, you'll see I've got videos up that's 7, 8, 10 years old, all right, about YouTube and being a YouTuber and stuff. So I know that when I see these numbers, they're not, something's wrong, okay? So I went to Jam Skillet's page, and I checked him out, and I see that he's following 85 people, and he's got 5,015 followers, all right? So that's about right. He's got 123,000 likes on his videos. Now let's take a look at his videos. The one in question has 714 thousand likes all right but then look at his other videos 850 6092 933 807 619 so on an average you could say roughly about 800 all right and then you come down here 660 660 612 700 so on a, about an average of some seven to eight hundred views per video is what this young man gets but this video all of a sudden jumps to 714,000 views. That tells me something's not right with this. Then I get sent this video, all right? And what? let's take a listen to what they're saying concerning being at the AMC Theater and watching the Sounds of Freedom. Theater and ours. We have no clue what 
they were. I think every now there. We got camera crew. Okay, a couple things I want to point out to you concerning this video that's got 23,000 likes, 2,820 comments, and been shared 2,598 times, and was uploaded by Trisha, all right, is how are you going to convince me <laughs> that there was three loud booms that shook the movie theater? In our theater, in ours, no clue what And what I want you to notice is the people that are outside, all right, all these people, but they're coming out of all of these buildings, people. There was something that happened here at this location, three loud booms, and it vibrated the floor of all of those businesses, okay? It wasn't just because AMC was showing the sounds of freedom. Now, I got plenty of reasons to not like Adam Aaron, all right? But are they trying to suppress the movie? I don't think so. But one thing that sounds for sure is that AMC's having an AC problem. We need to figure out as shareholders, is that the problem? What's going on with our AC units where all of these people in all of these theaters are saying there are no air conditions? Why? That's the question we need to answer. Now, I'd like to go see this movie. I might go around Wednesday to check it out, and I'll let y'all know I, from the, what I'm hearing. It's a really, really badass movie. Uh, I'll let you know if our air condition is working, too. And with that, I love y'all. Be blessed. See you in the next video.